So this video is video three in the series of lessons about holidays. So, où vas-tu en vacances et qu'est-ce que tu vas faire? Where do you go on holiday and what are you going to do? So, this is going to be an introduction to the immediate future tense and we'll be dealing with holiday activities. So, to start with, a revision of the verb aller. Aller is a verb to go. Copy the text and complete it with the correct parts of the verb aller. Here's a quick reminder for you. Okay, rewind if you need that reminder again. Pause the video and have a go and wait for the answers. So there you go, check your answers. Pendant les vacances, je vais au bord de la mer avec mon copain Gilles. Nous allons au lavandou sur la côte d'Azur. Mon frère va à la montagne avec sa classe. Ma sœur va à la campagne pour faire de l'équitation. Et mes parents vont aux États-Unis. OK, now try and write the paragraph out in English. Pause the video, complete the work, and then continue for the answers. During the holidays, I am going to the seaside with my friend Gilles. Or I go. We're going to Lavandu on the Côte d'Azur. My brother is going to the mountains with his class. My sister is going to the countryside to go horse riding. And my parents are going to the United States. OK. Now have a go at this. Just revising the first two lessons. Can you answer this question in French? Pause the video, see how much you can say. Où vas-tu en vacances normalement? So let's look at the immediate future tense. So listen to what I've got to say and then make notes about the formation of the immediate future. Obviously pause the video. So the immediate future translates into English as am going to, are going to, or is going to do something. For example, next year I am going to go to Spain, or tomorrow my parents are going to work in the garden. Like the English, it is formed with part of the verb to go and an infinitive verb. So as you can see below, English, I am going to go, I am going, is from the verb to go, and to go is the infinitive. In French, je vais is part of the verb to go. Aller is the infinitive. Just for once, there are no exceptions. This is a really easy tense. All you need to do is learn the verb aller by heart and should be easy. So now you can practice making up some sentences using the verbs below. Can you come up with a sentence, a different one, for each person? So, for example, je vais aller au cinéma, or tu vas faire de l'équitation, or il va manger au restaurant. Okay, see what you can come up with. Pause the, vid pause the video, see if you can write six different sentences. Learn the verb alley. That's the key. OK. Now read the four texts and make a list of any unknown words. Use a dictionary to find out the English. OK, so you could use an ordinary paper dictionary or if you're going to use, uh, use a computer or your phones, then I can suggest word reference is the best dictionary. Obviously, pause the video. So, now that you've gone through the vocabulary, um, have a look at the question below. Are the statements true, vrai, or false, faux? Pause the video, complete the work, and then continue for the answers. So number one, Camille is going to go cycling, is false. 
For her, it says she's going to Faire de la natation et de la planche à voile. She's going to go swimming and windsurfing. Number two, Boris is going to go swimming. Again, that is false. He is, says he's going to Je vais aller à la pêche, faire du cheval et jouer avec mes copains. He's going to go fishing, horse riding, play with his friends. Number three, Sasha is going to play football. False again. It says uh, her brother is going to play football. Mon frère va jouer au foot, but she doesn't like it. Number four, Tilly's going to go swimming. That is true. Je vais faire de la natation. Number five, Camilla doesn't like cold water. Doesn't mention that in Camilla's text. It does in Boris's. It says je n'aime pas l'eau froide. So number five is false. Tilly doesn't like fishing. Number six is true. Uh, mon frère va aller à la pêche, mais je préfère. My brother is going to go fishing, but I prefer, in her case, staying on the beach. Number seven, Sasha doesn't like playing volleyball, is false. It says at the bottom, je préfère le volley. Number eight, Camilla is going to go to the mountains. False. Nous allons au bord de la mer. It says we're going to go to the seaside. Number nine, Tilly's parents are going to do long bike rides. That is true. It says it in the middle of her text, mes parents vont faire des pique-niques et de longues balades à vélo. And number 10, Sasha's going to stay at home. That is false. Nous allons dans les Alpes. We're going to go to the Alps in a caravan. No mention of staying home. OK. Now some writing for you. So copy and complete Emily's letter in French. So just copy it out. And where there's a picture, you need to write some French. So the first one, je vais aller to the beach, à la plage, and then translate it into English. And then finally, can you write a short reply to Emily, aiming for at least 40 words in French? So the final sentence, the questions at the bottom says, and you? Where are you going on holiday? What are you going to do? Write to me soon. Okay, good luck with that. Uh, looking forward to the next lesson. Au revoir, merci.